I would say the last year in the aviation industry probably has been the most challenging year in our history. Commodity prices have been challenging, supply chain, inflation, labor uh, considerations. It's probably a story that many in industry can tell. The biggest economic factor that everybody is, has been dealing with is inflation. We had a terribly challenging January because of the Omicron variant. And China, which is our second largest market in, in the world, trailing just the U.S., was largely locked down for about 10 and a half months. So despite those two embedded challenges in 2022, we generated stronger financial performance than in any year of our 96 year history. In 2022, despite the fact that we saw a bit of a pullback in discretionary items, we still sold over $55 billion of home and apparel and those household hardline items that were so important during the pandemic. And we're constantly trying to figure out how to move this thing, this big business faster, because if the world's moving faster than you are, you're losing ground. I think the company is like firing on all cylinders. It's like totally integrated. There's this real sense of urgency. We're really excited about the future. There's this little tiny thing in me that feels like change is always got to happen. And if it's not happening, I want to push it and make it happen. And you can't do that sometimes from the back row. reality is for women, uh, sometimes they don't believe they can do certain things because when you look around, you don't see others that look like you and it can question if you belong. And it's one of the reasons why I'm so passionate about investing in diverse talent. The opportunity lies ahead of us and the future generations to see more women in um, big, powerful leadership positions.